It's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your best self. So if you are into that, you're in the right place. Today I'm showcasing a unit from Sensational from their Butter Lace Collection, Unit 16. Right now I'm wearing Unit 10, right? And this wig is gorgeous. Highly recommend. If you want to see all the details on that, check out the video I have linked in my description box after this video. But today is all about Unit 16 and I'm gonna do it as a talk through style so I can really get into nitty gritty of how I feel about this unit. I have a feeling I'm really gonna like it. And y'all did express that y'all like when I do my little talk through videos. So I'm gonna try to do that a little bit more. Also, if you're new here, make sure you check me out on Instagram. I'm on there very regularly. I post in my IG stories, I post in my feed. So if you wanna continue to keep up with me outside of YouTube, Find me on Instagram. All right, y'all, so let's take a look at Butter Lace 16. This is her out the pack. I already cut the lace. And honey, ooh. First of all, just looking at her and feeling her, this unit is gorgeous. Wow. Look at, look at this texture. It reminds me, actually, of Outre Kamaya. It's a textured unit that has been you know pressed out you know what i mean it's definitely a yakky unit so this is not like super silky but it has that smooth type of finish i'm feeling these super loose waves oh y'all this <laughs> i have a good feeling about this one i actually already saw this unit on a few people including my boo the hearts and cake 90. Brittany, that unit looks so good on you okay you're the one that encouraged me to get her. I have this unit for some months now and I'm finally getting around to it and I'm excited because I have a feeling a lot of y'all will like this for the fall season. Especially with the holidays coming up. I think we need some holiday hair. What do y'all think? Let me know. Now the highlight of these wigs from the Bella Lace Collection is the virtual undetectable lace. Even on the stock card it shows you what other lace looks like and what their lace looks like. It's supposed to mimic like transparent lace that you would find on a human hair wig. As you can see, this is what it looks like against my skin tone and it's a little ashy, but we're gonna fix that. I'm looking at the hairline and I feel like it could use some plucking. I'm not gonna do all that today though. This parting space looks nice though. You do have your two combs here right in the front by the parting space and a comb in the back with the adjustable straps. So, ooh, I'm ready to put this beauty on. And I'm so glad that I have her in the number two color. Also, if you're into curly, kinky curly hair like this, I have an entire playlist dedicated to kinky curly kinky coily natural textured wigs it's my favorite playlist <laughs> next to like the 20 dollar tuesday playlist make sure you check that out after this video if you want to see more popping styles like the one i have on i actually have another wig that mimics this one by zuri sis can too and it is at a cheaper price point so just 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 go check the playlist so if you're ready to watch me talk through and style this unit keep on watching all right y'all so i'm gonna toss this unit on i just want to show you what it looks like fresh out the pack, right? And, oh, hmm, this is actually laying really flat without me even applying a heating tool. This is what she's looking like. Hmm. Okay, I am gonna need to use a heating tool for that hump right there. <laughs> but so far, I'm, wow. I'm loving this, y'all. Am I getting some shedding? Mm, a little bit but not really nothing alarming i just love when units come with layers like this this is this is what i'm talking about okay sensational butter lace let me tell y'all i used to despise this collection when it first came out because i didn't like unit one and two and then i just wrote off the whole collection after that but then i saw other people putting it on looking really good in their units. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna give it another chance in a few more units. And sure enough, they kept coming out with them because that's what Sensational does. Like once something hits, they're gonna keep churning them out. So I was so happy to see that they had a more textured unit in this line. So the first thing I'm gonna do is address this lace right here. I'm actually gonna put this unit on as if it's a frontal, but it's not. And that's the thing with these units. People like the fact that 
you can kind of get a little bit of a frontal effect action you can get the lace that comes on a frontal without having to pay the what lace price and we all know what what lace is about that's their popular frontal wig collection i would love to try to wear this glue list but i'm not gonna attempt that for real for real i'm just i'm just gonna i'm just gonna glue it down it's supposed to come ear to ear and look at where it's coming like i mean it is touching my ear but it's leaving a lot of my sideburns exposed so there's that <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to try something different. First, I am going to adhere the lace and then tint the lace using my foundation that I use for that. I normally tint the lace first when I'm doing like frontals, but I'm just trying something different today, y'all. Okay. So for that, I like to use my Ebon Wonder Lace Bond Spray. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this spray by now. They have a yellow bottle, red bottle. And I still use my Bedhead Spray too. You know, I'm still trying to figure out which one I like better. Honestly, I haven't been doing a lot of frontals and whatnot, so I can't even give you a real assessment on which one I like the best yet. But I do plan on melting, laying more wigs during the fall season. So in about a month or two, I'll let y'all know. But we're doing this today. I do have a widow's peak, but I tried to brush it back some. I'm gonna spray along here. And then I'm gonna get my handy dandy blow dryer. This blow dryer is so nifty and cute. I love that it folds. It's a great travel size dryer. Highly recommend, I'll link it down below. And all the items that I'm using in this video are linked in my Amazon storefront. All the links are in my description box. Look through that description box, y'all. It's super helpful, all the information is there. Of course, if you have any questions, talk to me in the comments. But make sure you look through that description box first. Real quick, y'all, I think I made a mistake. I definitely remember saying in my last video that I would rather apply some got to be glue first before applying the Ebon spray because I don't know why it's not staying down. Maybe it's my skin, but I would just take a little bit of got to be glue and put it on there first. I'm not laying down this whole hairline, y'all, because that's just not what's happening today. Also, when I see that first time around I left lace, I just like to snip that lace off because for me, it's best if I get as close to the hairline as possible. I don't like having like lace just left on the hairline. I am getting more shedding. I don't know if it's because I cut close to the hairline or what. But I am getting some more shedding. Ooh, y'all, this thing definitely got crusty off camera. <laughs> I'm like, am I losing my touch? I need to practice more because that doesn't usually happen to me. But anyway, so now let's address this lace, right? So I decided that I'm not gonna lay down the whole hairline because this isn't really working for me to be able to do that. So I'm just gonna focus on up here. So to change the color of the lace today, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation in the color D90. You can definitely find it in my description box. And I like using this because it works really well when I'm addressing situations like this. I think it blends really nicely with my skin tone. And that's something that I really wanna to recommend to y'all. Use the foundation. Don't try to like go in with powder just straight out the gate on this ashy type of lace. Don't do that. It's gonna look weird, chalky, bleh. Go in with a foundation because the creamy foundation is going to penetrate this lace and change the color nicely. And I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna use this angled brush here. And I love this brush, it's only a dollar on Amazon. I'm gonna apply the foundation to my angled brush and I'm just gonna scoot up a little bit and get up and close and personal with y'all. I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to dab wherever I see ashy gray, I'm dabbing the foundation. And do you see the grayness disappearing? Comment down below if you see it, let me know. This is what I've been doing with my lace front units and it seems to work pretty well. You see how the foundation melts in right away. And this camera picks up everything so I know y'all can see all the nitty gritty of this right here. How is this looking compared to how it looked before? Let me know in the comments, y'all. Now when it dries, 
after like it completely dries you know you can kind of dust over your hairline with a pressed powder if you like I know sometimes I do that just don't do it from the onset that's all I ask <laughs> ash ash go away come again another day or never <laughs> Okay, so already this looks a lot better. So much better. I'm telling y'all, with these synthetic wigs, do not wear them out the pack. Do not walk out your house with that ashy gray lace on your forehead. People are gonna talk about you, including your family members. Take it from me, Gladys. Take it from me. Don't do it. <laughs> this looks way better. And now we're gonna tackle this parting space. I normally go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I use the color 360 or 350, it just depends. I mean 355. I'm using 355 right now. Sometimes I feel like the 355 color looks a little bit more like scalp, depending on how I'm feeling that day. All right, fam, so this is my end result for Sensational Butter Lace Unit 16. And I must say, she is a very pretty unit let me know what you think in the comments down below i love the texture of this unit it does remind me of outre's kamaya unit yes that everyone was going crazy about including myself the texture definitely mimics that i like the loose waves now i did have this in the middle part at first but i don't know i wasn't totally into the middle part this time so i decided to reapply it to the side and i'm just feeling side part fine right now so yeah i'm with by the way, are you a middle part person or a side part person? I've always been a little bit of both. When I find a middle part unit that I like, I'm like all the way in it. But when I wear certain like kinky curly units to the side, it just sets it off. So it just depends on the unit for me. But this is, this is really really beautiful and i mean for the price point y'all, you can't beat that. Like who can tell me this looks like synthetic hair? Like synthetic wear? <laughs> Look at it all the way around. Look, this is long too, y'all. Like, this is definitely touching my butt. Tailbone length tees. <laughs> I would say this is probably like, maybe like 20, 26, 28. I'm really feeling the density of this unit, like 150% density. I think it's perfect for what I prefer. Yeah, like I'm, I'm here for this one, y'all. Do I like this one or unit 10 more? I like unit 10 a little bit more just because in general it's a preference when I have a curly or kinky curly unit that I like you know I just get so excited so it's hard to compete with that but this is also a very pretty style I do wish that the layers came up a little higher but even right now like I'm grabbing my scissors and I just kind of want to chop some of the layer off you see what I'm saying like I just want to do that now i know some of you are like gladys what the hell are you doing look i've been chopping up these units for a long time so i don't have any fear left in my heart okay i just feel like that frames it a little bit more i think in general i just like when my layers start up a little higher but that's personal preference she's cute y'all she's really cute when i shifted her to the side i no longer was like using the lace over here so because my widow's peak loves to peek through so i just ended up filling it in with a brown pencil and it was fine it's looking decent on the side here but we're not giving like total pre-plucked action like i would normally see on a melted hairline unit so i'm here for it though i think it's very pretty very holiday appropriate i'm looking at it do i want a little more volume on this side what do i want what do i want gladys no i like it like this please share your thoughts on this unit in the comments down below have you tried unit 16 how do you feel about the butter lace series in general let your girl know also i'm calling y'all out that don't be commenting if you've been watching me for a minute and you've never commented before let today be the day that you say hello to your girl <laughs> Go ahead, drop me a comment down below. And if you're new here, you may as well tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming content. I am super excited about the videos I have coming your way from now until the end of the year. So I hope your notification bells are on. I really do. Also, shout out to y'all that have been watching my try and hauls, my vlogs. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate y'all joining me for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.